Uh, so I'm David, obviously. We're going to work on some walk training with a clicker and some food items and a dog. Abbott, Abbott, come here. Sit. So zoom in on his little contraption here. Uh, this is a harness. Oh, I know. It's okay, my friend. Don't worry. We're going to start walking soon. It's a harness that clips at his chest, okay? It makes pulling the leash more difficult. It does not train your dog to heal. It does not train your dog to stop pulling on the leash. You get to train your dog to stop pulling on the leash, okay? This device will help. Come here. Sit. So we're going to look at some very basic things you can do with your dog when you're on a leashed walk. First thing I find very helpful is having some kind of bag to hold food. I like to use a clicker. I like to hold the dog with one hand on the leash, as you know. Here we go. And I like to click the dog for compliance. Sit. Sit. Let's go. Sit. Come on, sit. Sit. So immediately, we're starting off. This is the beginning of our walk. We're immediately starting with structure, training, and he's not getting to practice any kind of behavior that I don't like, like pulling ahead or running around like a maniac, which some dogs like to do. Sometimes Abbott does. What are you saying? He's saying, I'm ready to work. Let's keep going. Thanks. <laughs> um, so, obviously your dog wants to know sit, but what does sit mean, really, from his perspective? Does he know when I say sit that I want him to sit in this position? How does he know when I want him to sit at my side? Sometimes it's helpful to give your dog a couple of different verbs. So you might want to teach them, come here. Maybe you might want to say, Abbott, here. That might mean sit in a front position. Okay. Abbott, here. Yes. Versus when we're walking, Abbott, sit. Maybe that means sit at my side, okay? It's important to be very clear with your dog and have very easy to understand communication words and be very specific in how you're teaching the dog so the dog knows what you want. He's looking at me, but, oh, he just looked at my eyes, so I'm going to click that, all right? Let's try that again. Waiting. Oh, he looked at my eyes again. That gets a click and a treat. I'm going to do that until the cows come home, all right? <laughs> click and treat for attention until the cows come home. Now. I can prompt him, probably by using some kind of hand, if I wanted to prompt him to make eye contact, that's certainly fair game, but what I really want him to do is to make decisions on his own and learn the value of his decisions. Have it. Sit. Good boy. Left. This way. Where are you going? Hey, right here. Sit. So this pooch. He's a Brittany Spaniel who's very like that, into his environment, wants to play, wants to look for stuff. So if you have a kind of dog like this, it will be very important to give him a lot of direction in the beginning and perhaps not just walk in one straight line in the beginning. Have it. Come on, this way, buddy. Ah, good boy. Click that for sure. Good job. This way. Good boy. Oh, handsome. Sit. So this is what a motivated dog looks like, okay? My motivation is a food reward. This is pretty large, but I'm just letting him have little tiny bites. Little tiny bites, right? Little tiny bites. He's going, don't eat that. That's for me. All right, so I let him have a little nibble, and then I take it away, and I can hide it. I don't need to keep it out like a lure all the time because he's pretty well. He knows a few things. Good boy. Let's go. Now he's into a smell. Abbott, leave it. Wow, look at that. Did you see that? Sit. That was pretty good. So one request, one response. It's always your goal is for you to never have to repeat yourself. Request it once, and if the dog does not do it, go to plan B. What is plan B? Well, write me a paycheck, and I'll show you. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Abbott, leave it.
Good boy. Sit. Abbott, go sniff. The other thing I like to teach dogs to do is that when we are doing something like a structured walk, and most of your walks should be structured if you want them orderly, is that the dog should learn that unless you've given them the cue, go sniff, or a similar type of cue, that they shouldn't just be sniffing willy-nilly, all right? Then before they sniff, you can say, come, sit, go sniff. So sniffing, uh, this is using pre-max principle. Sniffing becomes a reward. Ready? Have it? Let's go. Good boy. Nice job. Oh, who's handsome? Sit. Look at that. I didn't even prompt him. I didn't say heel or nothing. But he's a quick learner, quick study. So when you're teaching your dog something new, or something they may not know that well, make sure you have the steps down, all right? So let's say that I want to teach him an on-leash recall, which basically just means come to me, sit in front position. Abbott, here. Give the verbal cue first, and then use your prompt. Don't use a lure unless you have to. This is a lure. Obviously, the dog's attention will be on my hand if I have food in it. But as soon as possible, if you're training right, you can get your lure out of your hand and just use a prompt or a hand signal. All right? Abbott, here. Good boy. Go sniff. Abbott, leave it. Abbott, here. Go sniff. Abbott, here. Good. Good boy. Good job. Abbott, sit. Yes, good boy. Go sniff. I'm going to show you a very quick and dirty lesson about how you can use attention to teach your dog things. What is the dog doing? Not looking at me. Good boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. The only way he's going to turn me on to make me move is he's going to have to look at me. Okay? If he doesn't do that, we're not going anywhere. You know why? Because I have the leash. I control where he goes. I have the leash. I have the leash. Let's go. What am I teaching the dog? He needs to pay attention to me if he wants to go anywhere. Okay? That's very important. Do not sniff my crotch, please. Sit. <laughs> why is this important for the dog to learn? Because it's not all about him. He has to learn to look outside of himself. Dogs are very selfish little things. Sometimes they're very selfish big things. All right? We have to teach them that in order to unlock their freedom, they have to turn to us. Literally, turn to us. Good boy. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Very good. Thank you. This way, please. Oh, hello. Nope. Hi. Thanks. Good boy. Good boy. Yay. Very good. How about you come this way for a while? There you go. That's good. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> come back. Come on. Thank you. Hello. Now we can walk through the world together, right? Abbott. Yes.